Today is December 19th, which means that today is the birthday of the best Finnish hockey prospect in the world. Let's talk about him today. His name is Brad Lambert. Now, I know what you're thinking. You said Finnish. Why did you say Brad Lambert? Yeah, he's got dual citizenship with Canada, which explains the not necessarily Finnish sounding name. But Brad Lambert is the best Finnish hockey prospect in the world. And at 16 years of age today, 15 yesterday, 15 a few weeks ago, 15 for the past calendar year, he has shown everybody why he is one of the main contenders for first overall in the 2022 NHL entry draft. Now, first off, if you're saying, okay, what do you mean by best Finnish prospect? Isn't Vili Heinola or Lassie Thompson technically better than this guy today? Yes, okay, that may be true. There may have been older Finnish prospects who were drafted in the previous drafts that currently today are probably better than Lambert. But in terms of potential, in terms of projection, in terms of their track record, and in terms of their draft stock, there's nobody that comes close to what Lambert has achieved. Not even Capo Caco. Let's get into this right here. Who exactly is Brad Lambert and why am I giving him so much praise? Brad Lambert is a recently turned 16 year old who is playing in the Finnish Liga with HIFK. He's listed as one game played right now, which means that he played this game when he was 15. He's 15 years old, now 16, playing in the Finnish Liga. Okay, that's cool, but what exactly is it about this player that makes him so special? Well, it comes down to basically his entire game. Brad Lambert played most of last season with the Junior ASM Liga. That is Finland's U20 League. So it's the league for 17, 18, 19 year old players. And last year, Brad Lambert was 14 turning 15. He spent half the year as a 14 year old, half the year as a 15 year old. And playing in the U20 League with adults, he had 11 points in 17 games. Okay, that's cool. What else did he do? Playing for the U16, so playing in his own age range, as a 14 turning 15 year old, he had 10 points in 6 games played. Then he played with the U18, so the 17 and 18 year olds, 4 points in 6 games played. Then he represented Finland internationally at the U16 level, 15 points in 8 games. In the U17s, he was a point per game. So. Those are some crazy numbers, and I know I'm not really hitting the point home by just saying, okay, numbers, 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 so what? What exactly is it about this player that makes him so gosh darn special? Well, all in all, it's pretty much everything. Brad Lambert is the best Finnish prospect in the last long while because everything he does, he does at such a high level. And everything he is doing is technically a little bit advanced compared to all these other Finnish prospects. Take a look at this. This is the U20 League's all-time points per game per season record for players under the age of 17. Mikhail Granlund was really good at 1.63 points per game in his draft minus one year. Capo Caco had a 1.45 points per game in his draft minus one year. Sebastian Ajo, 1.34 points per game in his draft minus one year. Brad Lambert is in his draft minus two year at just under a point per game in the U20 league. Now you'll see Jesse Puljujarvi was actually over a point per game in the U20 league in his draft minus two year as well, but Puljujarvi was playing with Sebastian Ajo in that Carpot team and that Carpot team was generally stacked. Puljujarvi was 7th on that team in points. Brad Lambert is currently leading his HIFK U20 squad in points and he doesn't have any other super notable stars that are going to be drafted in the year beforehand like Puljujarvi did with Ajo. 
So what Lambert is doing, by himself pretty much, is comparable to what these other really good Finnish prospects were doing when they were a year older. Which is why I say Lambert is the best Finnish prospect we've seen in any of these drafts going back a few years. I don't even really remember anyone who had this much star power. Even Alexander Barkov played his draft minus one in the Junior ASM Liga. He played five games, he got five points, he was at a one points per game. That was his draft minus one year. Brad Lambert is at the same points per game in the same league as Barkov when he's a year younger in his draft minus two. Well, okay, that's enough with the numbers. Let's stick with it with Brad Lambert. Talk about how he actually plays the game. His skating is really powerful and efficient. That's how he's able to compete in the U20 league efficiently as a 15, recently turning 16-year-old. That's how he's able to get a spot in the Liga, because this guy's mobility is so good. On top of that, his puck skills and his overall confidence level is off the charts. That's not to say that he's a Patrick Kane, I don't think he's like an incredibly amazing dangler, but... What Lambert is able to do is a good selection of high-quality, pristine, sharp dekes. He's able to get around guys very efficiently, combined with his really, really strong skating. He's able to get through guys and hold on to the puck for as long as he pretty much wants to. And the confidence of this kid is so incredible that he's able to do this playing in the U20 league as a 15-year-old. Playing with 16, 17, 18, 19, some 20-year-old players as a 15-year-old being able to dangle your way through, open space for yourself, and find holes to pass? It's crazy, crazy talented what this kid is. Speaking about the passing, his passing ability is pretty good. I'm not going to say he's going to be the best passer in the game, but what I will say is that Lambert's best strength is his vision and his IQ, and combined with his skating, he's able to free space up for himself really well. I mentioned his vision. His vision is extraordinarily strong. It's one of the best we've seen in any of these NHL drafts. And if you take all these factors and you put them together, you get a player who very frequently likes to roam around the zone with his head up and always look out for his options. If he sees a guy that's coming near him, oh, there's a little deke. He gets by him. And then he sees a guy in front. There you go. There's the open pass. He's very smart and he's very efficient with what he does out there on the ice. This is the ultimate package that makes Lambert such a high offensive threat. His shooting hasn't necessarily been amazing, I don't want to say he's like an Ovechkin kind of shot, but he gets it done still. He has 14 goals in 30 U20 games played, and that's a pretty good number for a 15 year old. Seriously. Back when he was playing with the U16s, when he was only... 13, he had a crazy good goal record, 28 goals in 19 games. This is as a 13-14 year old in the U16 league, but as he played higher and higher levels of hockey, he started to get more assists than goals, which is not a bad thing, it just shows that the priorities and the styles kind of change as he evolves through the different Finnish leagues. But today, Brad Lambert is a player who still can use a pretty efficient and accurate shot but prefers to hold on to the puck a little bit more, find open space, and be effective that way. Because it is a very shared opinion amongst the majority of the scouting community that Brad Lambert will be one of the three challenging for first overall in 2022. To put into perspective how good everybody kind of thinks the 2022 draft is going to be, Let's pull up that graphic I made from the summer. Not all the names are going to be accurately placed, but this is kind of how I see it. It's easy to see. Pretend it's like NHL 20 and you're sorting it by potential. McDavid obviously has the generational potential, and then you got the guys in the franchise like the Eichels, the Matthews, the Pedersons, the Hughes, the Kakos. Then you have the guys that are halfway between franchise and generational. The guys who aren't at generational, but who are a little bit better than franchise, in my opinion, that's Lafreniere, that's Darlene, and then it's these three. Lambert is in that boat. Same with Savoy and Wright. But 
This video is obviously about Lambert because it is his birthday, so happy birthday, Brad Lambert, if you are watching this, which you're probably not, but happy birthday to you, kid. Keep killing it in the international scene in Finland because he's going to be so good. He's going to be really, really good. Watch for this guy to go either first, second, or third overall in 2022. And if you're interested in hearing about the other two quote-unquote franchise prospects in that draft, we will definitely talk about those guys as the years go on. Hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.